am so obsessed with like skin tools right now. I think they're so fun and we ate ATP production slows down, sagging skin, hair loss, aging spots, or skin imperfections. It helps like firm your skin, but it also helps with my discoloration. This is my favorite toner. I know like it was trending putting your ins and outs for the year. So I wrote in my journal my ins and outs for myself. And yeah, one of my ends was facial tools, but also aging gracefully. Yeah. To me, aging gracefully is embracing that you've lived, that you've smiled, that you've cried, that you've gotten through things. Like, it's okay to have some wrinkles, but, um, but I do want my skin to look like fresh and um, I don't love my spider veins. Those are something I've always been insecure about. So hopefully, um, if you guys have any tips of any sort of tool I can use for my spider veins, let me know but i don't think we need to be adding on things to our list of insecurities as we grow um like if you see something on social media and you're like oh now i want to get this or that like i think sometimes you need to just stop and be like was i ever insecure about that before just a reminder to appreciate your skin your growth Abby and Emily said they have been loving the Patrick Ta plumping gloss and pouty. Oh, that's like a fresh gloss that hasn't been ruined yet. Oh, it's like icy. So this is my natural hair. Should I leave it or should I? I might just leave it. Or maybe I'll just straighten the ends. I got a straightener. Straightened, unstraightened. I think this is one and a half inches. Hello vlog! A bunch of packages just came and Ocean is sleeping, but I wanna get them open with you guys and try some stuff on. First thing is from one of my favorite YouTubers. I got a necklace that has Ocean's initial on it. I've been loving like the bubble letter initials. Oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna put this on right now. How beautiful, I love it, it's so pretty. Okay, so next I ordered some clothes from a brand called Miu Miu's. I've never ordered from them before and I ordered these for Christmas and they didn't come in time. Well, let's see. Hello, baby. He just woke up. I wanted to do something that looks like classic but also a little bit dramatic. So it's like a bow, a corset bow, and then the bottom kind of poofs out. White Box has really cute, affordable shoes. So I picked up these heels in two colors. They were sold out for a while, so 
Oh, these are so cute. I got two pairs of these pointed heels, a black pair to go with everything. And then I have a lot of like nude neutral clothes, so I wanted to get this color as well. But I just like that you can slip them on and head out the door. I hate the process of putting heels on. I like the height of this heel because they seem like really easy to walk in. And I also got this cute little floral print PJ set. So yeah, that is my little mini haul. I want to like try a bunch of this on. This is fun, but like I said, this is strictly like holiday. So I don't know what I'm gonna use this for now. I'm obsessed with these shoes. They're so comfy and easy to walk in. These little pajamas are so comfy and cute. And I got an extra small in these, which run pretty true to size. This necklace is definitely my favorite thing I picked up. <laughs> so this week I am going on a girls ski trip in Flagstaff and I just got to the mall because some of the stuff I ordered didn't come in time so I want to go look for like um I want to go look for like a puffer jacket maybe ski pants I'm hoping one of my friends can bring me ski pants and maybe just like some accessories and I also want to look for a good pair of like quality denim jeans while I'm at Nordstrom I've been loving good American jeans are really comfy. I love a goldie. I want to see if they have the brand girlfriend as well. So, so yeah, I'm thinking Nordstrom, Dicks for maybe some ski pants, H&M, Zara. And I think that's it. I smell so good right now. Today I put on my Tom Ford Laneige um, body oil and mixed it with Montel Rose's musk and it smells so good. I also tried out the Maybelline foundation today for the first time, that like viral skin tint one that they came out with, and I mixed it with my foundation, and I really like how that looks as well. So, okay, I can't waste too much time, so. These are my favorite shorts of all time. Nineties pinch waist. Those are really cute. This color is cute too, but I have way too many jackets that color, so I think I need to do black. I kind of love these bright pink shoes for Valentine's Day. There's like a party going on over there. It can be tricky filming at home with a toddler, so I want to show you guys this stuff now in case I'm unable to film a sit down without there being um, noise. My favorite thing I picked up are definitely these boots. Um, they look a lot like the Givenchy shark boot, which I am obsessed with. I like that the heel is like Short but really pointy so they're easy to walk in and they almost feel cushioned um, You know some boots kind of have like a cushion on the inside um, These have that so they're really comfy. I tried these on with a mini skirt and they just looked so perfect I'm just excited to style these with like a little dress and skirts and even shorts. They're so cute. I feel like those are also nice if I'm ever going to an event and I don't know what to wear that those just dress any outfit up. And then I picked up a cropped button down. I like the detail of how the pockets hang a little bit lower. I feel like it being cropped makes it a little bit more girly and cute. Um, and then this is the coat I picked up for the ski trip. Um, it's kind of like a, it's like a patent leather, but it doesn't look cheap. It looks really expensive and Zara is really good at having cool little details like that. The way this like faux leather feels is really nice too. Um, and I just know I'll get a lot of use out of this after the trip as well because I don't have 
a black jacket with a hood at the moment and because i live in arizona i haven't purchased a new jacket in so long so i feel like that's a really good timeless piece that i will keep in my wardrobe for a while these pants reminded me of a pair of good american jeans and i love the chloe's jeans are really comfy but they are pricey and i don't know how long i will be into cargo pants so i think for something trendy like this it's nice to pick up at zara this wash just reminds me of like the 2000s and then these are kind of the same wash and they just fit like a glove um i got a size four in both of my jeans back when i was wearing more like mom jeans the zara jeans were always too short but now that the wide leg trend is going i feel like they made their jeans a little bit longer so this is the little squirt that i tried on with the crop button down and the black boots and I just think that this will be such a cute little date night outfit. The last few times that we've had date night, I feel like I have nothing to wear. So, But the last time we had a date night, I was like, I think I basically just live in loungewear. So, um, yeah, I felt like it was okay to get one thing that I can wear next time that Wallen and I go out. And then last, I got this really cute little jacket. It cuts off um, at my waist so you can still see the shape of my body. And... I don't know it kind of looks like it's wool but sometimes wool can be um scratchy the material is actually really soft on this jacket so how cute would this be with like a little matching skirt to go with the jacket i almost wanted to go look for one while i was there but it's crazy at zara so i was like i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna go grab a salad from salad and go and then i'm just gonna have a relaxing night with my boyfriend and my son um they're both sick so i think i'm just gonna go watch football with them and cuddle up and maybe read my book me and two of my friends started a book club and our first book is Court of Thorns and Roses and I'm almost done with it. And it was hard for me to get into at first, but now that I've gotten through like 60% of the book, I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, a lot of books are like that, especially with series. You have to like learn to love the characters and understand what's going on. And then we'll have the ski trip in like two days. So I'll probably bring my camera and vlog like a little bit. So yeah, that is the plan. Mwah. Salad and go is so good. Welcome to Salad and go. We'll be right with you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, I will do the barbecue ranch salad with chicken, please. Okay. 697 at the window, please. All right, thank you. Did you all hear that? 697. So all of their drinks are a dollar, even the coffee, and all the salads are literally six dollars. Like, this needs to be everywhere. Okay, Wallen didn't want salad and go, so I'm stopping at our favorite fast food place, Culver's. Um, yeah, I'm excited because I really want cheese curds and they have the best cheesecake ice cream. Woo! Culver's has the best ice cream. And then they gave me cheesecake. Last time they put it in for me, but um, this time they put it on the side. But they get their cheesecake from Chicago. So it is so good. They're known for their butter burgers and custard. Every time we visit Wallen's family in Wisconsin, I'm always excited to get the custard and the burgers and the cheese. Wisconsin has such good food. So I'm happy that we have a Culver's here in Arizona. If you live somewhere where they have a Culver's and you've never been, this is your sign because it's so good. I think look at how yummy that looks. I started a book by Mia Sheridan, I think that's the author, and she wrote um, she wrote the book Archer's Voice, which was one of my favorite reads from last year. So I wanted to give her another shot, but I don't know if I'm liking the new book I started. It's about this guy who was kidnapped, and I don't know the full story yet of what happened to him, but he goes to this girl who works at a strip club. Sorry, I have to move. Um, so yeah, he has all this trauma from being abducted when he was younger. He has like dual perspective and so the girl, she works at a strip club and he goes there thinking that maybe she can help him work past his trauma. I don't know the full story yet but he isn't able to be intimate with women so he wants to work on just being able to touch a woman I guess and I don't know. I don't know if I'm really into it though so if you guys know any other books by the author that you'd recommend, let me know. Ocean is asleep, but I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up. How fun are these boots? I got these at H&M for $10 and they just look very like high end. I love any type of shoe that's like really strange and like unique. Um, also, I just love this color. I ordered two pairs of moon boots from Nordstrom 
and my order got canceled. So these are the boots I'm going with. I did a lot of shopping last minute, so I ordered from Revolve and um, Amazon. I got a jumpsuit from Pretty Little Thing that zips up and it looks so cute on. Um, and that will be really nice layered with this jacket that I got from Zara. Just a really soft faux leather jacket. I got a medium, which might be too big. The hood is actually really soft and good quality. Um, so I'm gonna try this on. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this so much. Okay, I think I can like cinch this in. Oh yeah, good. I'm really glad I went with a medium because I have a really long torso. Woo! This is so cute, I'm so excited. has a little thumb hole and zippers which i really like 